Hey, this is going to be a short video. Uh, you're fixing to start working on your miniature train car. I just wanted to show a couple options. One, you can create a new document like I did here. So here's my miniature train car document. And I can create all my parts in here. But some of the parts I'm going to reuse. So I can, like, like the wheel. So I can come in here my miniature train. And I could come here to the wheel. And I could right click on it and duplicate it. So now it says wheel copy one. So now I'm on wheel copy one. I can right click on it and move to document and go to other documents created by me. And there's my miniature train car and I can move it. Now, if I go into my miniature train car, here's my wheel. And why I would want a copy of it is because on my train car, I don't need this peg. So I have to come in here and see, okay, like that, I won't need, that I won't need, and that I won't need. Now, so that means I can get rid of this sketch, this sketch, and this sketch. And so now I got a a wheel and so now if I wanted to color it differently you know I could edit appearance and I can make it you know let's do it green there we go or maybe I want it gray yeah there we go so you know I can change it and it hasn't affected oops went back to my miniature train car hasn't affected my miniature train my miniature train still has a peg still has all the axles, so my assembly is still just as I wanted it. Okay? You could also, so you could you could create, and, and even if you, you know, um, your other option is to just create the copy here, uh, you'll end up with lots of tabs. You could create the copy here and use the copy to um, just make sure you rename it. Um, even, you know, a miniature train car, you know, I'd probably want to, you know, give this a new name, uh, wheel, you know, two or wheel car. That way I, you know, I may just call it wheel two, make it simple and rename this one. So I don't want it to say copy, we'll call it two. There, there's wheel two. I'm ready to use it for my train car. Now, when you're doing an assembly, you know, one of the requirements is to put the your new train car that you're going to create that you're going to make an assembly for in your train engine. Okay, so you can actually, so I'm in a different file. See, I'm in my miniature train car, and if I go to insert a part, I can click documents created by me, and I can come into my miniature train, and I can come into my assemblies, and there's my assembled miniature train. And I need it in here, and uh, it might ask if I want to make a create a copy or a version of it. So you know, I can say create a version of my miniature train. You know, and it will create a version of it. And there we go. So now, if I change things on here, and that's of course it's all moving because I should have tracks in here and stuff. And then I'd put my you know, insert my. Uh, new train car and attached to it so um and that's in a different document see okay uh your other option is to just go into your miniature train folder and create everything in it just understand you're gonna have a ton of tabs because you know you're gonna have some new parts you're gonna have in there you know you can reuse some parts like your axle peg and your linkage uh in your um, wheel you, you will not have linkage armor and linkage peg on a train car. And you could like reuse your um, hitch magnet and hitch peg. Those are things you can reuse. And that's like four parts. So really it only gives you three new parts that you have to make. You can obviously say uh, you can make more additional parts. But, you know, that's a that's just an easy way. Just make sure, especially if you're recoloring or like for the wheels, we got to take off this little peg that you make a duplicate. So you, you right click on it and duplicate that way so if i'm on my wheel 
and right click and I can click duplicate and it will give me a copy of it and that copy is what I want to make changes to because if I affect this one, like if I change this color then it's going to change my assemblies which is going to change my drawing sheets which is going to, you know, it, it has a ripple effect so I don't want to change this one anymore you know, I want to be able to make changes to this copy. That's where you'd want to rename this. You don't want to call it wheel. You want to wheel two, wheel for car, something, and change this from wheel copy to wheel two, wheel for car, however you want to name it. So if you're making it all in the same miniature train document, you're going to end up with a lot of tabs that you're going to have to be working with, which is doable. Um, so just make sure any part you're going to use that's on your train engine, and you're going to use it on your train car make sure you make a copy of it before you do okay or like I did I created a whole new folder miniature train car and you know here's my wheel 2 now and I can make everything here all right good luck hopefully that helps